So there's been a really interesting development with Mac Gaming uh, today. I just installed Overwatch onto Crossover. So it's running via Crossover, which is kind of a translation application. So it doesn't actually emulate the game. It's actually better than emulation because it's translating. So it doesn't have as much of a performance hit compared with emulation. Like, uh, and it doesn't also, it also doesn't use any kind of virtualization like Parallels would use. And Parallels does use quite a lot more resources because of virtualization. So translation is basically the best, uh, best way. Sometimes you do lose mouse focus, so you have to tab out and tab back in. There are a few annoyances like that, and there's also other annoyances like sometimes uh, you get a very small micro stutter, but overall I'm very surprised that it's working. I didn't think it would be able to work like this. The resolution isn't amazing, but I wouldn't expect it to run like with an amazing resolution. So this is another option for playing on a Mac. I think personally cloud gaming will still be one of the best, best options if you want a better resolution because it doesn't use the resources of your hardware. The Mac, uh, I'm, I'm actually using a MacBook at the moment and it's the base hardware. And I get average like 60 FPS, so it's pretty good. But there is a bit of microstart here and there. But it's not terrible. So Crossover is a program that does cost money, but I'm currently just using the trial version. It normally costs uh, $60, no, not 60, I think it got increased to $75. So it's pretty expensive, but if you want a way to run this game on your Mac, then why not, you know? Oof, get dominated. Yes, got a 4K. Let's go. Where's my heels? Come on. So the Mac can can get a bit hot, I think, from what I'm hearing from other people. I haven't really experienced a massive amount of heat or fan noise. 
it looks to be running at around 720p resolution which is fine for me it's not amazing resolution but it's fine Wow, she just killed everyone. Yeah, you can notice there's a bit of stutter here. Which is a bit, a bit annoying, but it's playable. I, I also don't have a massive amount of RAM. I only have the 8GB model of RAM. So maybe that could be affecting my performance as well. Oh, they got the payload. It's my bad, I should have touched. Unlucky. But yeah, it's playable. I still prefer local cloud gaming, like streaming it from my, my gaming laptop. That's probably the better option for most people if you have a gaming laptop. Yeah, not much I could do about that. I tried. At least I got the play of the game. I wonder if it actually allows me to save highlights. Yeah, because the interface has these problems that you can't actually see a lot of the things. So it does make it a bit difficult in that sense. Um. Let's try like that. So I don't know I don't know how the file system works. With uh, with crossover. I don't know if it will allow you to even see your your uh, file system. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work like this. Not a big deal.
that's the replay code. Two Y V K A E. So overall, I'm pretty impressed. It seems to work, um, but I'll have to do more testing tomorrow or uh, later this week. Crossover gives you a 14-day trial to test the game. So yeah, there's all these hidden UI elements that makes it quite difficult to navigate. You have to know where everything is by heart. Because I know Quick Play is the leftest, leftmost card, and then Quick Play Open Queue is the middle one. Quick Play Roll Queue is the left one. Second to left is the competitive card. Third left is the arcade. Then fourth is custom games. Here is training area. So I kind of know it by heart just because I've played the game so much. But I can imagine if you were trying to do this as a new player, you would really struggle. So maybe it's possible for Blizzard to actually help to fix this, or maybe they can do something with the implementation of DirectX um, translation DirectX to to Vulkan, which then gets translated to um, Metal by Molten VK. That's the the translation layer. Overall though, it's still amazing that I'm using a Windows application inside of my Mac. Uh, you can see it's here, and it, it's just like a like you would have in Windows. You just have your applications open. You don't need to install a full Windows. It takes around uh, 40 gigabytes for all of Crossover and also Overwatch. So yeah, overall very impressed. Uh, give it a try if you if you want to try it. This is the URL, which I will leave in the description.